Good evening, guys. Got a got a dangerous one tonight. Going with the, sh the shaving goo. Going to do a scientific test. Going to use my regular old DE eighty nine that I use all the time. Got a repair blade in it. I use it all the time. But changing it up here. And by the looks of things, <laughs> it's gonna be good. Um, one of the behind water and acid is one it's a 23 letter word so you know it's good um, that must be natural um, then propane hmm that goes good on face then butane then alcohol guys if you smoke don't go anywhere near this Kurt, keep the hookah far away from this. You might burst into flames. But, it says shake well, wash your face, remove cap, shake well, hold it upright, and press the center. So, I'm treating it like a can of spray paint, which has probably a lot of the same chemicals in it. Uh, wet my face. I just I got out of the shower just a minute ago, so So we'll see how this goes. Is everybody it's been a good weekend for videos lots of people posting that didn't feel good I love I love the smell of rice I don't know what it is in it but uh, it smells like I don't know, old people it's a nice classic classic smell very chemically oh man I'm getting it all over my, my Mark Reside shirt darn it Let's see how that goes. Well, it's definitely more tuggy. This is my second use on this Rapira blade, so I know the first one went fine, and usually by the second shave hits, that's, that's its sweet spot, that's when it's its smoothest. Feels like there's plenty of uh, plenty of glide, but uh, at the same time, feels like the the whiskers aren't aren't hydrated, aren't uh, just aren't soft. It feels like I'm cutting through f fresh hard whiskers.
enjoying all the new videos. All the new guys getting involved. Definitely gives me something to do when I'm bored. Plus it's, it's nice, like you get to know someone on Facebook is one thing, when you see them, hear them, listen to them, see their mannerisms and stuff, you, you feel like you know the person slightly better than you did before. Oh, and Kurt. I got your cream and the stick. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. My wife really likes the smell of that. Um, it uh, has kind of a chemically smell, but some kind of flower. I can't tell. Um, She really likes it, and that's that's a really hard uh, shave stick. I don't know if I'll be able to to uh, mash that into anything. I might have to uh, might have to grate it down to actually get it to go into a bowl of any kind. I must admit. This is a lot. <laughs> they always talk about, oh, this is so much better. You know, it's not as messy as using a, a shave brush. Bull crap. It was way better than this. But, I was wondering if, uh, so when I used to use Mach 3, it used to get clogged up real easy. And I couldn't tell if it was Mach 3 or if it was the goo, because when I switched, I switched everything. Um, it's not clogged up at all. It uh, washes right out instantly, so it's the Mach 3. Now that was two days growth, and maybe that was partly why it was kind of tuggy. Um, it's definitely not as slick as uh, Williams or Arco or most anything else, but it's a lot more um, usable now that I've gotten the majority pair off. So if I used it every day, which is how I normally shave, it might be better. Still, still a little tuggy. I got a question. I see guys are always nervous about shaving under their lip or under their nose, above their lip. Um, why? That is one of the least scary places for me to shave. You just put it on, pull down. For me, right in here, that's where my beard's the thickest. And, um, when I come across it just a couple times, I can get pretty good irritation there, razor burn. Um, and
and also right in here um, the razor likes to catch there but if I just just pull down just a little bit no problem at all shape in there but yeah we're all different uh, let's see how it feels Definitely, definitely not as close as I typically get. My skin also feels very, very st sticky. Um, the, the stuff is definitely washed off, but um, I don't know if it, what uh, how to explain it. It's sticky. I mean, it feels clean, but it feels sticky, so. Would I use it again? If I had to. Would I use Vanderhagen? This was a buck. Probably last me. Maybe as long as a Vanderhagen. Would I use that first? Absolutely. Um, but if I go on a trip and I forget everything, and this is all I can find, yeah, I'd use it. Hope I have my razor with me. No clogging in that with that, so. But oh, now it's drying up. It feels dry. And I'm sure. All the uh all the uh, flammable materials in there I'm sure. I have to do partly with that, so put a little witch hazel on. Everybody keeps doing this. Like that helps. But uh yeah. It's okay. Um, I am going to follow it up though. With the rise cooling bomb. It's this is my absolute favorite bomb, and um, that's why I went with Watt Rise for the the shaving cream. Um, I really, really like the smell. It's the same smell as the other one, but um, it has a little bit of menthol in it. It just feels really nice. Doesn't leave my skin greasy or anything. And 60 cents. So, I can't find that anymore at the store. I don't know if I mentioned that before. Um, but uh, I can't find it in the store anymore, so uh, when I knew the stores I knew that had it, I went and bought up everything and they've never refilled it. But hopefully that will replenish what the, what the butane, butane and propane took away. But that's it, guys. Hope you have a good rest of your weekend. Um, I don't know if the UK does time savings the same time as us, but Americans, 2 o'clock this morning in a couple hours.
make sure you just set your clocks ahead. Have a good one.